Number 23, for which of the reactions in exercise 1315 does the Kc, which is calculated using concentrations, equal the Kp, which is calculated using pressures? So in this case, I got to figure out if BaSO3 solid, which comes to equilibrium with BaO solid plus SO2 gas, in this instance, does the Kc equal the Kp? Maybe I'll put like a question mark here. So yes or no? Well, maybe I'll just move this a little bit up. Okay. Here's the information that we need. When a Kc value equals a Kp value, the gas moles of the reactants equal the gas moles of the products. But it's very specific. It's only the gases that counts. Here, I have a solid, so I can't count this. Get rid of that. So don't even look at this. And the same thing goes here. Solid, so get rid of that. Here's the only gas that I could take into consideration. Now let's see how many moles on the left-hand side, how many moles on the right-hand side, reactant and product. Since I have no gases on the reactant side, I have zero moles of gas. Now since I can't take this one, I don't care about it. But here I have a gas. And just look at the coefficient. There was none here. That means that there's one. I have one SO2. So that's the number that I'm going to bring down. Now let's see. If Kc equals Kp, the moles of gas have to equal each other, but zero does not equal one. So to answer this question, does the Kc equal the Kp? No, because those moles of gases are not the same on the reactant and the product. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments what you think, all right? Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing great out there. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.